The approach we'll take when creating a CIP report in Dream Report is the same as when creating a batch report. We can consider a CIP cycle as a batch, with a unique CIP ID being the batch ID, and then associating a start time and an end time with that CIP ID. Once that's established, all objects on the reports, whether they're charts, tables, statistical calculations, all will be based over the CIP duration. We start off in a Dream Report project by configuring the data source for the report. In my example project, I'll be using a process historian in which all the process data has been logged. Data might be stored in a SQL database, your HMI log files, or might even be real-time data from a PLC or HMI that Dream Report can log, and then base the reports off of that logged data. I happen to be using Wonderware Historian on this VM, so I've configured the driver in Dream Report to connect to this historian using the Delta data retrieval mode, which is the preferred way for points that need to be retrieved on change, like CIP ID, CIP status, set point changes, etc. We might also want to set up another connection to retrieve data periodically, for example, every 10 seconds for temperature, flow, and conductivity PV values. That's really dependent on your needs for the charts or tables. Once the communication driver is configured, we now use the Dream Report Batch Definition module to define a batch, or in our case, a CIP ID for each unit. In my example, I have three mixing tanks, each having its own unique tag for the CIP ID. As such, I create the batch IDs in Dream Report, pointing to each tag respectively. If I had a fourth tank, I'd create a new batch ID, browse for that tag in the historian, and then associate that CIP ID number four to this batch definition in Dream Report. We're now ready to start building a CIP report. The first thing I'll do is place a single data object on the report, showing the batch ID statistical function. For the time period, I can choose the last or current batch, pointing to the CIP1 batch ID. By default, with batch definitions, Dream Report treats the change of a batch ID to be the end of the previous ID. So it's a continuous series of start and end times associated with each batch ID. In practice, however, there's typically a break or a pause between batches or CIP cycles. As such, we'll make use of a batch or a CIP status tag that is set to 1 in the PLC or in the historian when the cycle starts, and then set or reset to 0 when it ends. We will then use two single data objects in Dream Report, pointing to the status tag to give us the timestamp of the first value, when the status tag equals 1, that'll be the start time, and the timestamp of the last value, when the status tag equals 0, that'll be the end time. I'll do that here now. Once these two objects are defined with our CIP start and end times, we can then place any objects we need on the report referencing the start and end time objects for the time period to use. Let me start with the automatic statistical table to summarize my PV tags for the CIP report. I'll browse for those tags in my historian, pick the temperature, conductivity, and flow tags. And once I've selected those and assigned the statistical calculations, I'll use the calculated time period pointing to my start and end objects on the report. I'll do the same for a line chart, adding a flow PV tag, and then also a flow set point tag. We'll do some basic formatting, and then again use the same calculated time period for the chart. We could repeat this for other tags and any other reporting objects we need on the report. I'm now going to jump over to a completed CIP report, which I created using the exact same approach I just demonstrated. Note the objects with the batch ID, 
the calculated start and end times, and then all other objects referencing those times. This report could be generated on demand, or you might want to automatically generate it when the CIP cycle completes. We would use the Dream Report Event Generation option in the report settings. If we had configured a communication driver to access live data from a PLC or HMI, we could then point to the CIP status tag and trigger the report when that tag equals zero. I'm now going to jump over to my HMI, which is simulating a CIP process. I'll start off by assigning a new CIP ID. The HMI will set a few set points, and then a short while later, I'll start the cycle. When I click this button, I'm setting the CIP status tag to a 1. The historian is recording all of these changes, which Dream Report will then utilize later on for the report. Let's run it for a while, and then I'll end the cycle. OK, let's use the Dream Report Runtime Management Console to select this report and generate it. Here we see the CIP ID that just ran for Mixing Tank 1, that CIP ID number MT1-1355, with the start and end times associated with me starting and stopping the CIP status tag, and then all values associated with this Tank 1 CIP cycle. We might want to look at a CIP cycle that ran earlier today. One way to do that is to open the Dream Report web portal to select an earlier report. Looks like we have around 10 reports already in history. I'll pick one that was generated earlier today. And there we see the report for CIP number 2820, which ran at 11.30 this morning. The other interesting thing we can do is not just run the raw CIP reports, but maybe create a report that shows all CIPs run on a daily or a weekly basis by mixing tank with key statistics shown for each CIP ID. Here on this report, I've used a bar graph to graphically show how many CIPs were run on each tank. This was done by looking at the CIP IDs for each tank and using Dream Report's built-in counter of logged values to come up with my bar values. For the tables, I use a step table set for the current one day, and the step interval being based on each batch or CIP ID that ran. For each CIP, show the start and end times, calculate a duration, and show a few other key calculations. You could then set this report to run automatically every day, month, etc. to summarize your CIP activity. Let's generate that report for today and let it run. Here we have the number of CIP occurrences in each mixing tank today, and then each CIPs, when they started, ended, each one's duration, and key parameters from each cycle. Make sure to watch the other Dream Report video tutorials for specific reporting functionality, and for more details on batch reporting. Thank you.